Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Expanding civil aviation is not only a facet of improved connectivity but is the engine of economic development for the region. Government of India has taken several steps to develop northeast at par with the rest of country and civil aviation being one of the important sectors. Till 2014 there were only 74 airports in the country. After Modi government came to power in 2014 the number of airports has increased to 140 in just 7 years. In northeast there were 9 airports in the region till 2014. In November 2022 PM Narendra Modi has inaugurated the first greenfield airport in Arunachal Pradesh and it has been developed in an area of over 690 acres at a cost of rupees 640 crores with a 2300 meter runway. The airport is suitable for all weather day operation. It will be the fourth operational airport for Arunachal Pradesh, taking the total airport count to 16 in the northeast region. The increase in regional connectivity has also led to increase in future demand for the regional transport aircraft. In 19 or 17 seater segment of passenger aircraft, HL has made significant progress. It has signed a lease agreement with Alliance Air for supply of two civil DO228 for regional operation in Arunachal Pradesh in September 2021. In April 2022, HL has delivered the first DO22 aircraft under Uran scheme for deployment in Arunachal Pradesh. In 1983, HL has bought the license to manufacture DO228 in Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. In February 2023, the civil version of DO228, that is Hindustan 228, a 19-seater turboprop aircraft, received clearance from DGCA. In the same month, Genesis Aerosystem announced that it has completed a certification for Genesis Avionics Suite cockpit upgrade for Hindustan 228. While the work on Hindustan 228 has progressed significantly, it is 1970 technologies and there's a need of a modern aircraft in 19 six seater segment with better design fuel efficiency and performance india needs close to 120 160 aircraft in this genre both for civil and military versions in next 10 years now saras mk2 is an attempt by india to indigenously develop a 19 seater aircraft ideal for commuter connectivity and variety of applications like air taxi disaster management border patrol ambulance and other community services the council of scientific and industrial research csir national aerospace laboratory nal is developing saras mark 2 this aircraft is going to be 19 seater high wing twin turboprop multi role aircraft The most prominent feature of Saras Mark II will be digital avionics, autopilot using AFCS or automatic flight control system and flight director systems. It will feature a full glass cockpit and four multifunctional display. Saras Mark II will have many enhancements over its previous version such as drag weight reduction with unique features like high cruise speed, lower fuel consumption, short landing and takeoff distance, low cabin noise. operable from high and hot airfield with pressurized cabin operable from semi prepared airfield and low acquisition and maintenance cost now during aero india 2023 we have seen slight changes in saas mark 2 specification and it is expected as the aircraft goes through various design phases and refinements it will be a 7.5 ton aircraft with an endurance of 6 hours and service ceiling of 29000 feet It will have a maximum range of 775 kilometers with a max load of 19 passengers and 2,450 kilometer with seven passengers. Its maximum cruise speed will be 500 kilometers per hour and stall speed of 185 kilometers per hour. The takeoff distance for SARS Mark II is going to be 790 meters and landing distance 740 meters. The aircraft will be powered by two Pratt and Whitney Canada PT6A, 67A. Turbo prop engines having five blade composite propeller capable of generating 1200 shaft horsepower. Now let's talk about the SAS Mark II development. On 13th May 2022, the taxi trial of the aircraft was conducted to evaluate the indigenously developed digital anti-skid braking management system. The low speed taxi trial was conducted at a speed of about 30 knots and the results were highly satisfactory. There will be about 15 to 20 more taxi trials. to evaluate the system performance on october 2022 the saas mark 2 entered critical design stage an open air engine test bed aircraft 
environmental system ground test and a high fidelity real time flight simulator have been commissioned to test the various subsystems of the aircraft the aircraft's environmental system ground test facility has been set up to test the complete environmental control system the pneumatic device system the life support system and the cabin pressure control system for sars mark 2 In December 2022, HL has also entered into a memorandum of understanding with CSIR NAL for design development and certification of this aircraft. It will be initially certified by Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification for the military role and later by Director General of Civil Aviation for civil role. The first flight of SAS Mark II is planned in the year 2024-25 and production from 2026-27 onwards. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.